intros for hanging out with me and letting me play. I fucking can't do intros or outros. Why? <sighs> I'm a little bit late, but Max sent me some of the Frosted Fireworks holiday collection, and we're just going to hang out, and I'm going to do a makeup look, show you my favorites. You're going to basically just get ready with me, but I'm not going anywhere because it's nighttime. However, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miss Megan Robinson, and if you want to see how I did this look and what my favorites are, please keep on watching. All I want to do is a New Year's Eve look, my favorite time of the year. I'm going to go to 24-hour eye base first. Also, shout out to Mac. They got me this backdrop as well and the tripod that I'm using. So kisses for you. Between these two palettes, I did buy this one and Mac sent me the Rocket to Fame one. So this one is by far my favorite palette from the collection. And I'm going to go in with this shade here, um, which is called Share My Blanket. It's been a minute since I've done like a regular kind of tutorial. It feels a little foreign to me. I'm just using a 224 because it's my favorite brush to buff things out with. And I'm trying to figure out as well, like the angle that I want to shoot on. I've been doing more things on Instagram uh, just because it's faster. YouTube is starting to steal my heart again. So the Extra Dimension Foil Shadows, they are my favorite formula of all time, all time. And there's only one way to use these. That's using them wet with Fix Plus. So I'm gonna make a paste. I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid in there. A little chaw. Mm. I like being able, oh my God, to kind of manipulate formulas and get them to do other things. Oh my God. Another pretty one called Sparktacular. The one, the silver one is called um, Silver Bells. And then I also really love Cooler Than Being Cool. That's got like a really pretty reflex. So you can see how much more intense it is when you use them wet. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of Share My Blanket just along that edge. I've used this quite a bit. As you can see, it's dirty now. I'm going to go in with Stone Cold Fox, which is this silver down here. Pressing it on top of that silver shadow, literally, just because. It's got a little bit more glitter to it. I love silver. It's also these double-ended pencils. These are the PowerPoint eye pencils. Um, this one is in Short Fuse and... Be cool, BB. I'm going to line my lower lash line with this. I'm literally too lazy to grab a black eyeliner. So we're going to use this. Take a clean 219 and blend this out. I've been using the 219 a lot lately. I couldn't tell you why. I just have been. I'm going to go straight in with Carbon next. If you haven't watched episode six of makeup and mukbangs with Kayla. Uh, she had to teach me basically how to apply black eyeshadow as heavy as she does. I'm getting better. I'm taking that same 224 and I'm just gonna buff this edge out. So you can see it was pointless having that like purple liner down, literally just to have something to stick to. I hope by the time that this airs, or that I post this, my Nespresso arrives. If you followed me on Instagram, they only ship to my pods and <laughs> not the machine. I have a really itty bitty smolder here because I've lost all my black liners and I'm saving my f new favorite black liner for another video. So I'm just lining the waterline Take a little bit of brush black liquid liner to make sure it's nice and black. I feel like it needs to be smokier. I'm going to switch back to the Grand Spectacle palette. I also have two brand new soft boxes as well, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to go in with Dance in the Dark here. And why not? Let's pull it all the way through. 
the crease. I'm gonna take Pleasing to the Eye here and buff that out as well. I have so much fallout. I want more carbon. So just where the carbon meets silver bells, I'm just gonna buff that out a bit. Okay, let's add Cooler Than Being Cool. I'm gonna pack this on the inside corner. And oh, yes. Up into kind of the lid and the crease area. And then let's also pop this on the center of the lid. I'm gonna go back to the carbon. Or I'm gonna have to redo my concealer. Remember that the first color you put down is always gonna disappear. So just pop it back in. So I'm picking up a little bit of my liner. I started to just change the shape of the eye slightly. Do I need to add glitter? Oh. Let's just do them both. I take a bit of iridescent white and tap that into the lid. This one's called Platinum. My favorite way to adhere glitter is brow gel. So I'm taking a little bit of clear brow set and I'm just picking it up off the back of my hand. Press the glitter on top. I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'm gonna show you what might be my favorite highlighter of all time. I just applied um, 75s and 76s, my favorite lash combo. I still want like, I don't know what I want. I want a lot of it. Yes. Ooh, okay. That's what I was looking for. Take brush black and just camouflage the band. I don't have time to wait for the glue to dry. I really like this. Honestly, didn't know where I was going as it was happening. I only make one makeup mistake a year. It already happened. It was the other day with a gr green, it was hideous. Just share my blanket, I'm buffing it out more. I just wanna amp up my cheeks a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with the Pro Face Palette and Illuminate, and I'm taking, what are these? Malted Milk and Peach Plush. Really? Okay. Taking Malted Milk and Peach Plush. This is one of the brushes from the Holiday Brush Kit, Obsessed, and I'm literally just gonna mix these two together. And I'm just gonna buff over top. So these are actually, um, cream color bases. So I like to mix them with bronzer. You can bring them a little higher on the cheek as well. And then this brush here, it's a triangle shape that has like a little bit of a divot in it. And it just fits like these areas of the face so well. And I can go in and clean up like my contour lines. I'm if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love, 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 love highlighter and looking like wet and dewy and whatever. I would have sworn that I would never, ever, because it made no sense to me in my entire lifetime, wear like a white highlighter. But then Let It Glow came out. It's white, my friends. But it has this pearl finish to it that I just, I cannot explain. I don't even use this wet. That's the craziest part. Oh my God. Like that was just a soft dust. I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know. But this, if you can get your hands on this, if you just wanted one product from Holiday, this is it. And there's like, um, there's a bronzy one too, if you have a deeper complexion. You could also mix them together. I just, how? I'm taking a little bit of mullet over um, Powder Kiss Liquid as blush. Let's go across the nose. I miss wearing blush on my nose. 
and like as freckles and stuff. I have three of the glosses. As you can see, I'm not lying. I've used half the tube of this one. This is Spark Joy, which is just like a soft white. That's really good for mixing. This one here is called Break the Ice, which is golden with like a pinky kind of green. I see green in it. Shift. If you are looking for just like a new kind of nude lip gloss, like nude neutral pink, uh, there's twinsies as well. Whatever's left over on my beauty blender and take away the color on my lip. Then I'm taking my favorite liner of all time, Oak. It's my favorite because never failed me and it's kind of gray on me it can pull brown on some people and I'm sorry about that I'm gonna go in with spark joy uh, ice queen I'm gonna add just a smidge of twinsies just stop the press I just I can't get over this highlighter at all Radiant. Okay, I picked an actual top three. This brush from the the brush collection. This needs to become full size. Silver Bells Extra Mention Foiled Eyeshadows. If the foil eyeshadows ever, they've been launched quite a few times. This is a formula that is just, there is nothing like it. You can use them dry, but why would you? This highlighter, it is extra dimension, I think. Yeah, extra dimension skin finish, but it almost has like a chunky pearl in it that doesn't show up chunky on the skin. So I don't know what sorcery that is. It, this, I think, is sold out everywhere, and I'm sorry. That's it, guys. That's the look. Thanks so much for just hanging out with me. I think this will be the tone of my makeup videos moving forward. They'll just be chill. You'll just get ready with me, see the stuff that I like. If you have any requests about, you know, tutorials or things that you want to learn, you just got to let me know. You got to let me know in the comments down below. You can DM me on Instagram. That's the only way I'm going to know what you guys are looking for. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Miss Megan Robinson. Same thing on TikTok. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this encourages you to try stuff outside of your comfort zone. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, DM me on Instagram. Till then, I'll see you next time. Bye.